Okay, we're on the border of Merso, behind you, in front of me, and Pulini Monochet to my right. In particular, Merso Premier Cru Le Charme, Pulini Monochet Le Charme, uh, which is just a village level wine that Domaine Alain Chavi produce. Beautiful wines. Now, as you can see, being village level, we're a little bit flatter, a little bit heavier soil. Then we work our way up the hill uh, to Champcanet, uh, La Garenne, and in particular, the reason that I chose this view here is because we can see that dividing uh, line of trees or shrubs. Above it is Pulini Monochet Premier Cru Le Champagne, and beneath it is Folletier. Now, Folletier is incredibly racy and mineral and airy, and you can see just how steep it is, and it's very stony. In fact, it wasn't actually planted until relatively recently because it was too hard to work. You need dynamite and that sort of thing to um, uh, plant the vines. So if we work our way around, you can see the high country, and then there's the little, um, uh, uh, right up the top uh, of Pulini Monastery Hill, there is Le Trezan, which is a little village level wine. Uh, ripens a lot later, la la la. A little bit cooler, a little bit racier. Champagne, Flottier, KRA, which is Pulini Premier Crew. This is all now until I say the Grand Cru's, Pulini Premier Crew. Below that, we've got Clavoyon, and then further down, Pucelle, uh, which is just a beautiful, beautiful wine, one of the most unique sort of terroirs in Pulini, or the whole coat. Then, as we work our way further down, we hit the Grand Cru's. So as you can see, that's a very important special band of vineyards. Cheers, let's go explore them.